All right, let's make this awesome curved text spinning around an object in Unreal Engine 5 for motion design. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is delete the one that we have here. So it's this Ava text actor. actor. It's not, uh, well, you'll see, it's not actually a text actor anymore. And I will also delete the asset that that was because we are going to be uh, creating a whole new one of our own. All right, so let's save everything out. And uh, just so you know, for the record, uh, this sphere has an animation modifier applied to it. So it's doing all the spinning. So all we're going to do is create a text object and uh, get it curved so that it'll look like it's floating around this. But then we'll uh, parent the resulting actor to the sphere and uh, that'll give it all that rotation. So this is just constantly rotating. Okay, so uh, let's start by creating our text actor. So we're in Unreal Engine 5.4, of course, and we're uh, using the motion design plugin. So I'm in motion design mode here, and I'm going to go to actors in the tool kit and type uh, select text actor. And where did that go? There we are. Drop that in. I will... Uh, select it in my outliner. Here it is. And let's just pull this out a little bit so we can see it a little bit better. I'm going to tap F to frame that up and uh, move back a little bit here. Okay. So the text actor details will uh, give us a chance to change the text. So we'll make it this text awesome. And now that it's awesome, it doesn't look awesome. So I'm going to choose a different font here. And of course we can use any of our system fonts and ultimately use this tool to bring our fonts into the project. But for now, I'm just going to uh, go ahead with this particular font. This looks reasonably good for now. And uh, scrolling down further, let's make sure we have the alignment the way we want. And that'll be centered horizontally and at the base um, vertically and kerning and all that's fine. We'll just go with extrude of 10 and a bevel of three. There we go. And uh, rather than the solid uh, coloring style, I'm going to switch this to custom materials. So let me set custom materials for each aspect of the text. And let's uh, bring this in here, F to frame that up again. And let's set our rotations, zero those out. So zero, tab zero, tab zero. There we are. And again, just kind of center this in front of that sphere. Okay, let's get these materials set to something nicer. Um, I have already migrated a few kits in here. I have the automotive materials and I have the uh, virtual studio kit. I have a previous video that shows how to migrate those into a motion design project. So you can always check that out. Um, double clicking here into the virtual studio kit. I'm going to go into materials and choose glossy. And I will use this uh, glossy gray floor and drag that in as our main material. And so now that's applied to everything, except I'm going to change the bevel to a glow. So I'll go to materials again, and then glow. And I will drag and drop this glow into the bevel material. And that gives us a nice little edge. Maybe that bevel's a little much. Let's uh, knock that down to two instead of three. Okay. So uh, yeah, looking pretty good. And I think now we're just ready to bend this. Now, unfortunately, the current modifiers in this version of Unreal uh, won't really, I don't have a recipe for bending the text in the direction that we want to do. So instead, what I'm going to do is with this actor selected, I'm going to the actor menu up here, and we're going to just convert this Ava text actor two into a static mesh. So I select that, give it a place to go, my demo folder, and a name, and the name will be sm for static mesh underscore awesome. Okay, so there's my static mesh for awesome. I will save that, and we're taken to that folder here in the content browser. So I'll go ahead and save all so that uh, you know these experimental features don't burn us. And we have the uh, sm awesome mesh selected in our content browser. So up here in our outliner now, had been uh, you know moving back and forth here. Uh, if we go to the motion design, I can't um, replace this actor, right? So if I'm in the regular motion design outliner, instead I'm going to go to my regular legacy outliner and right click on the Ava text actor 
and replace this selected actor with a mesh. And since in the content browser, I have my SM Awesome selected, it's right here, ready to go. So there we go. So now this is no longer a uh, Ava text actor, but instead is just a static mesh actor and the static mesh is this awesome. So uh, we can finish now by just using our modeling tools to bend this in the direction we'd like. So I'm gonna switch out of motion design mode and instead move to modeling mode. And from the modeling selections, I will go to deform and choose warp. And just like that, we're already warping in the correct direction. Uh, looking at this, I'm actually good with that. Now, if I wasn't, if I wanted this to be further away, I could, you know, use this control to adjust the amount of uh, warp that we're getting in the direction here. But uh, this is this is looking pretty good right there. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that. And now we have our bent static mesh and I can exit modeling mode. I'll go back to motion design and maybe I'll select that actor and move it up a little bit. And again, uh, meanwhile, our sphere here is still spinning. So uh, I can just go back to my outliner and drag the new static mesh that happens to be called text actor. And if I want to rename it, of course, I just hit F2 to rename and uh, say uh, SM awesome actor. And with that, I can drag this and drop it underneath the sphere and it will go along for the ride. So that's it. Hope this helps. This gives us our curved text actor spinning around an object in Unreal 5.4 motion design. Till next time, have fun.